All right, welcome to Brad's YouTube videos. Uh, this video, we're going to be setting up a Joomla template on a GoDaddy hosting server. Uh, so let's begin. Um, first thing we're going to do is go to under web hosting and log into your GoDaddy account and go to web, your web hosting and then go to manage. Now here, we're going to need to get some information on this page. Uh, the first thing we're going to need to do is get our username, which in this case would be Immortal Water, and then your IP address, the server's IP address, which you can find right here. Uh, show more details if you need to, but right there, 184.168.24.1. So yours won't be that. Obviously, it'll be something different, but that's where you can find it. <clears throat> so once we got that information, You want to use, we're going to need FileZilla and PuTTY to do all this. So, in a web browser. So, first thing I'm going to open up FileZilla and I'm going to connect to my server. Now, I've already set up the IP address, this, the 184 168 number, and the username and my password. So, now that I've connected, I've made a directory called Brad Hyman. And in that directory, it has just welcome.html, which looks like this. So if I go to bradhyman.com right now, it, this is that welcome page that GoDaddy installs by default. So what we need to do to get going first, you can do one of two things. We have to upload, normally when you do a Joomla template, you download some zip file. Here's the zip file that we got from rocketthemes.com. And here's, a, here's what it looks like extracted. So ultimately, you could do one of two way, things to get this over to the GoDaddy server from using FileZilla or any other FTP protocol. You can either transfer it like this, and grab all, this, all these files from the extracted zip file and grab it over and put it over here. It takes upwards of an hour or so because it's you know, 20, 30,000 some files. Uh, that's a takes a long time because it's over the internet. So what I like to do is take this small zip file and just transfer that by itself. It won't take nearly as long to get this extracted and ready to go if you do it this way. It just means we have to go into the command line, log in from the shell prompt to be and, and do the extraction that way. Which when we do it locally it'll be a lot quicker. Alright, that's done. Okay, so now we're going to go connect and you're going to put in your IP address, which are, like I said before, mine was 184.168.24.1. Use port 22. I'm going to connect. Use your username and your password, and you should connect in. Now, if you do a listing, there's a directory called HTML. This is the directory you want to get into. So, cd space HTML. And here is all the different directories. Each directory is a hosted website. So, in this case, I made a directory called Brad Hyman. You can, if you don't have a directory yet, you can do a make dir space your directory name. But mine, I already have it created. So, I'm going to go to cd Brad Hyman do a listing and there's my zip file and there's the welcome.html that default uh, HTML page that GoDaddy launches. First thing you want to do is you want to remove the welcome.html and to do that from the command line you just do rm welcome.html and that will get rid of it. Do a listing. Okay, it's not there. So the first thing we want to do is extract this zip file. So to do that you want to do gunzip gun zip space the file name. And if you're using PuTTY, you can highlight it like this with your mouse and then right click.
uh, might have to use unzip. Apologize. Unzip space the file name. There we go. Sometimes, depending on your shared server, you might not have the proper commands to be used. So we did unzip space that file name, and now it's extracting it. Now loading all these files remotely, like I said, takes uh, over an hour or so. This will take minutes. And it will also make the permissions proper. All the permissions will be ready to go. Okay, that's done. So now I do a listing, and there's all of our files. And, and if you want, you can remove this zip file. It really doesn't hurt it being there still. So I just keep it there for my record in case I have to do this all over again. I just keep it there. So in the meantime, what we want to do now is let's go to our website here. Now let's hit refresh. Let's see what happens. This is what you're going to get. It's going to say, okay, welcome. Uh, you'll get, and if you're not using Rocket Themes, it'll be some other installation, but you'll get something similar to this where you set up your site name, username, password, all that kind of stuff. So the first thing we want to do is set up your site name. In this case, I'm just going to call it Brad Hyman. Description. Brad's how-to videos. Admin email. You can do whatever email you want. I'm just going to do mine. Username. Always, I would always stick. I would just stick with admin. Don't use anything else for the admin user. And then just do a password. That's going to be easy for you to remember, but hard for others to crack. Okay, then it's going to go here. The, here's the part that people usually have the most trouble on. Um, it's finding out the host name, username, password, database name, table prefix, that kind of stuff, or MySQL I or MySQL. Um, most people will be dealing with MySQL. So I'm going to use MySQL. And then how do I get all this information? Well, to do that, we have to go back to our GoDaddy hosting manager. And we go down to MySQL databases. Now we got to add one since we don't have one here that we're going to use for our website. And take the default, whatever is recommended for the MySQL version, take that. And friendly name, obviously this is just a nickname, so I'm going to call it bradhyman.com. Database name or username. I'm going to call it Brad Hyman. And then the password. OK. Hit OK. All right, so right now the database is being set up. So while that's Usually GoDaddy will take a couple minutes to a couple seconds or so to get that updated in the MySQL section. So what we also want to double check, I've already done this step, but you will have to do this step before all this and to get the hosted right, is go under settings and under hosted domains. It'll load all your hosted domains. You would probably have to go to add domain and you would select your domain and then the directory you can browse or you can enter it in if you know it manually. I Here's what we're dealing with, bradhyman.com, and I made a directory called Brad Hyman. Remember here, it's the directory right here, Brad Hyman. So we're in that directory. I added it here, and then we'll go back. And let's go see if our MySQL database is up. If it is, we should see it on one of these lists, probably at the very bottom. Yeah, it's still pending setup.
Usually it's quicker than this. So what you would do here, um, we'll just see if it takes as it's going, as it's being set up. So the host name is usually going to be localhost. I mean, it's just by default what it is. Uh, most servers, well, sometimes it's, it's a, it will be a host IP address. We'll find that out once we go back to the details. But the username I picked, I set up as Brad Hyman. The password. I believe was this. And the database name for GoDaddy, when you set it up the way I just did, it's usually the name of the user. Um, so let's just see if it takes. All right, can't connect. All right, that's normal. You'll get that kind of message, especially when we, we don't know for sure if it's even set up yet. All right, so it's set up now. So Brad Hyman and Brad Hyman. So what we want to do is go to PHP My Admin. Just click automatically. It'll take you there. And you'll log in with your username and password that you set up. All right, so here, what we get, what we need to do, this is the IP address that we're getting right here. 72.167.238. So we're going to copy that and put it for the host name. All right, and the database name is Brad Hyman. So let's try this again. Leave the table prefix. You don't need to worry about that. I should have said remove. Set it back up. There's my database, Brad Hyman. All right, it says it. Okay, could not connect. So it took me back here. So something happened. Let's go back. Do this again. All right, and I'm gonna try. Sometimes I get this messed up. The IP address to grab. So I'm gonna grab this IP address number the server. Copy host name Brad Hyman. Make sure my password's there and the username database are the same. I'm gonna just say remove. I'm gonna hit next. Boom. Alright. So now it's proceeded. And email configuration, I always say yes. I mean you don't have to include passwords, but just it's always good to get that so you know too that the email's working for your hosted server. And let's go over the details. It's and here, if anything's set to no, it won't proceed. So by default, I, GoDaddy should be all set to yes. So we're going to hit install. All right, and then remove the installation folder. All right, and then now we go to the site. Click site. 
Now if we go to bradhyman.com, it should take us to a template, a Joomla template. And here it is. This is the template that we would have installed, and then I can modify it and change it as I want. And if I want to modify it, you just go to your domain name slash administrator. And here you would use your username admin that we set up during the installation of the template and then the password. And there you go. And that's how you set up a Joomla template using GoDaddy's server.